What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Overlord. Today we are doing season four, episodes seven, eight, and nine. First one is called the Frost Dragon Lord. Now I must say, with all the Quagoa and the dwarves and the rune smithing and all that, this is my favorite aspect, the dragon aspect, especially seeing what was it, Saw and Regret talk like a few seasons ago, whatever they were like. She was like, You might be one of the strongest beings in this whole universe type talk so i'm like i'm super excited hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in those comments section please subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon if you guys want the full uncut version of this episode these sh this show or the other shows and episodes i do here on the channel let's hop right on into this um overlord season four episode seven frost dragon lord let's do it all right the former dwarven royal capital so this is where we're going this is Riro confronting them about retreating from the bridge. I'll go meet the dragons. Okay, so we're playing this somewhat smart. He's not like overconfident, over arrogant. Lord Ola Sir Dark. I'm going to write that down just because I know I'm not going to remember that later. I might get it during editing, but that's going to be hard. So it looks like the dragons have been showered with a plethora of gold and wealth. I like that some of the dragons have different designs, different horn styles, you know? that's somewhat yeah i like that i also agree with that lots of different perspectives i like that whose child should i send so they hardly view the dwarves as a threat but they just don't understand okay your oldest son's gonna get his ass whooped. I'm sorry. Hedgen Maul. Anytime I see dragons own land like this and have their own castles and stuff like that, it always reminds me of Elden Ring and the previous dragon lords and all that shit. So this is Hedgen Maul. Yeah, I mean, I can just tell with the glasses and his attitude. This guy's more, and he was in books, right? This guy's more of a studious dragon. He hides his glasses. Gotta be intimidating, you know? Meanwhile, you have the great undead. I love the way they animated an elder lick. Lich, I don't know. Lich, because like the Lich King, right? I was going to say, is he going to admit that there's more? Is, is he going to negotiate? What kind of information is he going to give, you know? <laughs> you can do a spell of that caliber against a dragon where you can grab their heart? Okay, Killua. And he just immediately grovels. Okay. <laughs> subcutaneous fat he's just a little heftier he doesn't get as much exercise as the other ones you know he's focused on some studying larger dragons and 15 children so i'm assuming based off the conversation because his mom hedgen Mal's mom said my eldest son can do the deed that you need frost lord and when he went and got Hedgen Maul, he said, Dad, so is the Frost Dragon... I still don't know his name yet. Actually, I do. Ola, Sud I, Ola Sardark. I, I wrote that down. See? That's why I got that. But uh, is he the father? Are the, were those like three other big like wives? Does, does that one dragon have three wives and is just fathering a bunch of dragons? I need to know like the societal standing of dragons. Like, What, are they, what do their culture do, you know? And we'll go handle the dragons. I'll go with this one and take care of the dragons. Chaltier and Aura can handle the Quagoa. Oh god, this is gonna be crazy. With his three wives, yep. So he takes many. 
That's what I was curious about. I know, it is weird. I mean, don't get me wrong, of all the dragons to submit immediately, it would be Hedgen Maul. But it's just crazy having a dragon already treat us like this, you know? <laughs> Your Majesty the Sorcerer King. Look at that amount of gold. God damn. I love the way it reflects, the light reflects, you know? <laughs> like, we sent you to fucking. What are you doing? What are you doing, Hedgen Maul? That's what I'm saying. Don't just be roasting dragons like that. He's going to test it on him, though. An immediate death. He's able to do such a spell on something so powerful. I mean, this, has, this is how it is in the animal kingdom. If someone comes in and alphas your alpha, current alpha, then the rest just obey him. Cool. It can only be used seven times. One of those lights faded out. What is it like? Unlock any door? Like a master key? That's so sick. Even though he did, but yes. That is exactly what happened. Smart observational awareness, Aura. <laughs> Is he testing Shaltir to see if she can put it together as well? Shouts out Shaltir, trying to earnestly learn and become a better subordinate. Look at the amount of Quago right there. Yes or no, good sir. 60,000. That is true. No reason. I mean, but we can't kill you and sh show you the reason. But a little bit of trust here, you know. How is this gonna go about? Okay. They said, fuck that. He used like a, a battle meditation from Star Wars to increase their aggressiveness, their strength. Jesus Christ. Charles here is playing. A video game right now. Like, that's how just... That he's sending them all to their death. Oh my god, just the disassembled body parts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they should have, but like, <laughs> what? Why are you trying to do some crazy? You know, I can't blame either side. One side got too ambitious, the other side is fucking OP as shit. So, this is not how fast I was expecting the Saul to go down. Such an OP spell. It's so strong and so good. It just literally grabs your heart and like it's nothing. Can squeeze it and you are so dead. So unbelievably dead. That's the one thing, you know. It's not... He's not quite as nice and empathetic and compassionate as Rimuru from Reincarnated as the Slime, but I am a firm believer that when it comes to Ainz or Momonga, Ainz old gown, if you decide to side with him, he will treat you like a homie. He will benefit you. You will prosper. Everything will be good. 
if you go against him, you will die. So it's like, the, the both two ultimatums. It's so hard. I get why immediately they're like, eh, I'm going to doubt you, but it's like, fuck. Yes, you both did a very excellent job, I must admit. <laughs> Shouts out Aura. Shouts out Shaltier. He's like, wait. I, no, I was just genuinely wrong. I just... Oh, sure. No, no problem. Like, looks like you found me out. And remember, if I'm ever wrong, it's always for your guys' benefit. Keep that in mind. We'll talk about a job well done. Yeah, look at all these runesmiths. If only you knew, Demiurge. We see about three steps behind. That's, that's what I'm saying. If anyone sees ahead, it's you. No, we were just... The misunderstandings in the show, but only for the benefit of Ainz, are so funny. That was the end of the episode. Oh, that was a quick one. Damn, I need more. Fr oh, I almost lost any more dragons, but we fucking murked them. All right, on to episode eight. This one's called An Unexpected Move. It's been a minute since we've seen Renner. I mean, Fat Kurapika. What's his actual name? Like Zalnik, something like that? I have so many names on this list. Yep. Wow, that would be insane. True, good point. And it's crazy to think they're having this whole conversation about the Sorcerer Kingdom and Renner is like, like subservient, you know? She is in there. <laughs> I don't trust either of them. I don't trust Fat Karapika because he's just an idiot and he's greedy. I don't trust Renner because she's deranged. Oh, not this dude again. We haven't seen him since he was trying to game on Albedo. To our faction's great leader, Baron Philip. Ah, I forgot that's his name. And how are you going to do this, might I ask? Look at this woman, Albedo. Oh, my Lord. Do it. He's be, he'd be more than happy to help. So she didn't want to disturb uh, Ainz, but now she read something in this book that she ha- Oh, this is going to be important. I love this throne room. It looks so fucking sweet. So the food was stolen. A noble. You think it's Hilma? No. What? What is that? Yeah, Albedo looks shook. Sir Philip? So this is already at least a little bit after the Philip conversation. I thought this was immediately, so I don't think it was Philip. She is so scared and nervous. I can't even imagine what torturous thing she went through. I feel so bad. I was about to say, do they have a lie detector of some sorts? I, know, I believe her. I don't think Hilma would do anything to risk her own life. Oh, he can just control her. 
And oh, that's a little dark, but it works. Yes, but you can't hold that against her. Oh. She, wow. You are innocent. Okay, good. I don't want to see Hilma get injured any more than she... Don't get me wrong. She's a, she's done horrible things in the past. Being a part of the Eight Fingers, this, that, and the other. But I just hate seeing people you know, tortured, you know? She is pleasantly surprised with how much of a reasonable man he is. Shouts out to Heinz. Yes, she would if Albedo was in charge. <laughs> Good. I think she genuinely means that as well. That is a little bit of carrot and stick. You're right. Talk about some self-reflection. Shouts out Helma. Never really realized how good that carrot looks until you get beat by that stick. This is dark. This is deranged. But I get where she's coming from. I really do. People in like a super traumatic experience like her would... Like Stockholm Syndrome would be... <laughs> Thank you, Sheltier, for asking questions. Okay. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, we gotta be merciful. You make many enemies along the way. Shouts out, Demiurge. You remember my words well. Yeah, you can't be too merciful, you can't be too strict as well. なるほど。ご許可もいただきましたし、王国への罰はもっと精算なものにしてやりましょう。は。はあ。おい。遅延食料を王国の者がその武力で暴奪した。Dragon Kingdom and Dwarf Kingdom, as well as the Baharu. Woo! Do they really? They do indeed. Get his testimony. I mean, this is a difficult situation, you know. This is. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, we know what we're going against. One innocent noble versus a million innocent people, but. I just uh, shouts out Xanax for standing his own ground, believing what he says. If I had to choose between fighting Ainz or getting rid of Philip, this is how the episode is ending. This next episode is going to be insane. It's either the carrot or the stick. God damn it. All right. On to episode 9. This one is called Countdown to Extinction. Alright, Beto's already here. 
He's willing to give up his own head over Philip? They were serious. <laughs> Let's, we'll make this a little fair. We'll give you guys a chance. Well, my my people versus your people. I won't kill all of you by myself. Damn. Just when I was thinking we had all the beef with this kingdom last season, you know, we're back to beefing. Mmm, no boy brain. Looking for the next Gazif. It was, wasn't even half a second. He froze time. I won't lie, Razor Edge isn't the coolest name for a sword. It could have a cooler name, but it looks sweet. We'll always live on. Shouts out my boy Brain. He's a character that's grown on me since I first met him. That was nice. Shouts out them. It's been a month already? Very, very true. Way to look at the long game. Good. I actually really like that plan. Coming from like Ions, who usually doesn't have like the most in depth plans, you know, that's actually a really good one. Especially how strong they are, you know? Okay. I'm curious as well. On a seaside town. Denial. I was just at a fishing town a few weeks ago. <laughs> he has no idea. I thought he actually had a plan. This is the fifth floor? How often have we seen the, the frozen prison? What? My boy Sebis? Wait. Wait, Albedo's sister? What the fuck? Albedo's sister? Is she gonna look anything like Albedo? Is she gonna act anything like Albedo? Why was she suspended? Oh. She looks like Palm from Hunter x Hunter. And not in a good way at all. Literally. She looks like either Palm or that thing in the Japanese horror movie that like crawls out of the TV, you know? You're gonna say that as your face is peeled off? That's... I mean, she's not wrong. I'm just a little still worried. I don't know. Her face is creeping me out. I agree with that. I like biscuits. <laughs> they have become softer over the time, or... Ah. Oh, so we've already shown improvements over the small amount of time that we've been here to help these people. Taste one of those biscuits, and then we'll decide what our next action is. Fair rebuttal? Fair points, fair points. No. 
That's true. To better spread the tail of the carrot and stick, you know? But actually, that makes way more sense. You want those tails to be spread. True. I love how open-minded Ainz is. He might not accept your opinion and he'll go with his own thing, but he'll always hear you out at the very least, you know? He'll always hear you out and think about it. Okay, so this... Well, that was a flashback to the fifth floor. I see. This is the port city. Oh my god, that looks way nicer than the port city I was just at. A flag, sorcerer kingdom. Death knights. Send a flurry of arrows. Their CG for them looks real good. Now they're coming in. They're coming in quick. He's a mithril adventure for sure. Mithril is the second highest, right? Under adamantite? Or is adamantite then mithril? I'm assuming Mithril is the highest. This is literally our life or death, guys. We gotta start going crazy. Okay. Way to have all the status buffs. Like a doppelganger, like a second weapon that's floating with your primary weapon. That's so sick. You have like essentially two, a double-handed weapon for free. This is a sick battle all against a single death knight. Okay. He'll just lift the stone with it. Who sniped him in the noggin? What the hell? Are we watching Gundam? Code Geass? What fucking show are we watching now? This man's over here. And he still just gets... I mean, he's got the strap. I don't blame him, but like, what the... The Adamantite is the highest. Member of Drop of Red? Oh, what the fuck are we watching? Do we actually have someone who could stand a chance now and be an actual fight? <laughs> what the fuck? I'll be completely honest with you guys. I assumed going into this three episode little bunch that the Frost Dragons and the Quagoa were going to be the majority of these episodes. That was probably 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm joking. It was the majority of the first episode. But we dealt with... I even wrote his name down. It was so I paused it and wrote his name down because it was so hard to pronounce. All this is dark. I forgot his name. Uh Jesus. He died. The grass part is such a cool spell. Oh my god. It shows a temporal image of your of your heart. <clears throat> so strong. It super reminds me of Killua on from Hunter Hunter. He'll come up to you, grab your heart, put it in a bag before you can even blink. He's like, wait, what? Why, why do I have a hole right here? Where's my heart? 
So shouts out Shaltir, shouts out Aura, shouts out the new, I forget his name, the dragon son that joined us. And then we all, we have the rest of the dragons joining us as well. Um, shouts out Albedo's sister and then the dog, um, the dog maid, the battle maid who was with her as well, giving their perspective. I love how open-minded Ions is when it comes to hearing things that he may disagree with, you know? Oh, shouts out Sebus, great seeing him again. Shouts out Albedo, Demiurge, the whole squad going crazy. I shouts out Xanic for my opinion, having some some actually good takes in terms of not wanting to fight the Sorcerer Kingdom. Let's leave Philip out to dry. We haven't even seen Philip since he did the whole thing with the stealing the food. I'm very curious about that as well. Very curious about this fucking Gundam we saw at the end there. Adam man tighted man. Ah, I'm ready for some more action. I truthfully am. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.